everyone you're watching radio fixes in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix if your settings app does not open in your windows or it crashes instantly with the file system error in your windows 11 machine now there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved now the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and enable sensor services on your computer to do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you will have to go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. Once you have the services window, you will have to locate for censored service. It would be in alphabetical order. Make sure this service is automatic and it is started. So if you look at the status, it is not running. And also make sure it is automatic. So you can do a right click and then click on properties. Make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and then click on apply and then click on start. Once this is done, you may click on OK. Close this window and then try to open settings app and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issues is resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and repair or reset settings app on your computer. To do this, you will have to go to the search and in the search, you will have to go ahead and type settings. You will see the best match for the settings. Do a right click on the settings and then click on app settings. Once you're on the app settings, you will have to scroll down a bit and under this, you will have to go ahead and click on repair. So it will take about a minute or less than that to repair or reset your app settings. Once the repair is complete, you may click on reset and then click on reset again. This will go ahead and terminate the settings app on your computer. Once this is done, you may try to open the settings app and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue is resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and run SFC and DISM scan on your computer. To do this, you will have to open command prompt so you can go to the search window and type command you will see the best match for the command prompt you can do a right click and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and type the command sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter to execute this command once this command has been successfully executed and verification is 100 percent complete you will have to go ahead and execute the second command which is the dism scan command you can copy the command from the video description so you can you can do a right click and that should automatically paste the command or you can type the command manually once you have this command you will have to hit enter to execute this command wait for the command to successfully uh, execute once the command has been successfully executed, you may close this window, restart your computer and then check if you are able to open settings app on your computer. In case if you are able to open the settings app, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. The next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and perform an in-place upgrade. To do this, you will have to go to the media creation tool, the Microsoft media creation tool. So you can open the browser. And you can copy and paste the link from my video description, which will take you to the Windows 11 or Windows 10 media creation tool. Once you are on this website, you will have to scroll down until you locate download now. Look for create Windows 11 installation media and then click on download now. This will download an executable file on your computer. Once the media creation tool download is complete, you may double click on the file. And you may click on yes once you execute this file you would get an option which says getting few things ready you would be prompted for the end users license agreement you may go ahead and click on accept here you would be prompted to go ahead and select a language you can choose the language and the edition and use the option which says use the recommended options for this pc and then click on next in the next window, you may go ahead and choose which media to use. You can choose ISO file and then click on next. Now here you would be prompted you to select the path. You can go ahead and download this file in the downloads folder. Once the download is complete, it will take you to setup.exe on your computer. Double click on setup.exe. Now this will take about few minutes. 
Now in this window, you would be prompted you to, it would automatically choose keep the files on the computer, follow the steps and then click on next. And here it would take you to the window where you would say that it is installing update. Wait for the updates to be successfully installed on your computer. Now during this process, your computer might restart couple of times. Wait until the updates are successfully installed. Once this is done, restart your computer, enter your username and password if you have a username and password for your Windows credential. Once you log in, then you may go ahead and click on, do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you can go to the Windows update and then click on check for the updates. Make sure you can, once you click on check for the updates, if there are any updates to be installed, go ahead and install those updates and that should fix the problem. Now, in spite of trying all this step, if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.